People of Derby, today we are back again. We are back again today because God has decided to ask us to come and deliver a message. The message is for you. The message is to help deliver you from all your problems. The bigger problem that you might have is the problem of sin. That is the bigger problem that you have to worry about. Like we always come every day to say to you, there is hope. But the problem is, so many of us might decide and say, we don't want your help. But I want to assure you that God is not giving up. God is not giving up on you. You might have given up on yourself. You might want to uh, wait and reap the, 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 the reward of your actions. But God is not giving up on you. Deep down in the core of your being, you know there is a God, there is a creator. And I am here to tell you today that his name is Jesus. Jesus, the Messiah. Jesus, the Christ. The King of Israel, the Son of the living God, who came into this world to save men. For the Bible says, for the Son of Man came not to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And that's why we stood here before you today. My friends, I know what it's like to be enslaved by my fellow man. I know what it's like to be enslaved by peer pressure. To do whatever people tell me to do. To walk down the street and walk in a certain way that everybody wants me to walk. This is bondage. This is slavery. Facebook has enslaved you. Twitter has enslaved you. Your own friends have enslaved you. They've enslaved you and sin has enslaved you. But the good news is this. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That he so ever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I've got a testimony for you now. For three years, I knew I was going to hell. For three years, I would wake up knowing that I'm going to hell. I need peace with God. I need justification. I need to be right with my Creator. So I thought I could do good works. If I do this, then I go to heaven. If I think this, then I go to heaven. If I do this, I got like this, I'm here, then I go to heaven. But it was when I humbled myself with that man, David, brother David, as a child. And so David, I've searched the Bible for hours, if not years. I've listened to thousands of sermons. I've prayed, I've worshipped, but I need to be saved. How do I be saved? And it's simple. Who that believe upon the Son of God hath eternal life. And when I humbled myself like a little child and believed that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, I was saved. Like that, in a moment, in an instant, in a second of time, everything I've tried to work up for years, Jesus Christ did it through his Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth. In one second of time, I was saved, swept into the kingdom of God, received eternal life. I no longer fear death. My question to you this day is do you fear death? Do you fear dying? I know you've got your bravado with your friends. I know you won't admit to them, but deep down inside, are you afraid of dying? My friend, that's the fear of judgment. That's the fear of judgment for the Holy Spirit came to reprove the Lord of sin, righteousness, and judgment. That's the Holy Spirit inside of you this night. Even as you see the sign, which says, Wake up, Satan's brainwashed cattle. Even as you see the sign, if it wasn't real, if that wasn't a reality, if that wasn't the situation, that an entire society has been brainwashed by Satan into believing that there is no God, into worshipping celebrities and food and drink, into becoming a pagan society. Are you not brainwashed, is my question. I don't watch the television. I don't sit in front of the radio. I don't, I don't listen to the filth that's pumped out by Hollywood. I read a book 
And therefore I am free. I am free from the devices of Satan. I am free from enslavement with us on the internet. I am free from pornography. I am free from lusting after women. I don't need it. I've been set free. I've been liberated by the blood of the Lamb. I've been saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So men and women of Derby, my name's David, and I'm a Christian preacher. And I'm down here today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to preach the word of God to you. It says this in Revelation chapter 7 and verse 9 and 10. Listen to this, guys. Listen to the word of God. You're going to learn something today. Learn something new. Right, so obviously you believe in all this stuff, yeah, which like that's your opinion, which I respect. But there's also like literal respect. So if someone's pronouns or he, him, whatever, like I'm straight, but like none of that bothers me. So respect, it would be calling them their pronouns, and surely that wouldn't bother you. Trust me. Calling pronouns. No, no. So like, if someone's if someone's a girl, yeah, but they want to be a boy, so they like want the pronouns he, him. Surely the respect should be that you call them by their thing because before when I've seen them. Okay, so now, now this gentleman is asking a question in around the new gender ideology issue that's prevalent in society today. But look, let's get down to reality. There's only two sexes. There's only two genders. It's male or female, right? A man cannot transition into a woman. A woman cannot transition into a man. Okay? If you, if you are delusional and you're a woman and you see yourself as a man or a boy, or if you are as a man and you're delusional and you see yourself um, as a woman, you cannot expect others to go along with your self-delusion. Okay, so if you are a woman and you self-identify as a boy, you can't expect me to refer to you by a male pronoun, okay? That is forced speech and that is unethical, it's wrong. I will always refer to a woman as a woman. I will always refer to a man as a man. That's, what's, that's what God has created. I know a doctor. You're not a doctor! Okay. There's only two sexes. The Bible says this. The Bible says this, okay, in God's word. God didn't make any mistakes in his creation. And the Bible says this. For God made man in his image and in his likeness. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. What did Jesus say? It is written, in the beginning, God made them male and female. So young people, don't be confused about your gender. All you have to do, all you have to do to know what gender you are, is look between your legs. If you look between your legs, this will give you a clear indication of what gender you are, okay? If you're born a woman, you die a woman. A man cannot transition into a woman. A woman cannot transition into a man. Do you understand? Genetic disorder. It's a genetic disorder. Right. So, okay. So, who here has a serious, mature question? Right. Basically, so this guy right here is standing there trying to get a question, and I don't understand like why you aren't answering him. He's here like everyone else asking a question, and like me, I'm still here trying to ask a question. So you give me the mic, but you don't give him the mic. Not trying to do that. What's going on, fam? What's going on? Yeah. Well, let me tell you what's going on. 
I'm standing here preaching and people are gathered here listening, engaging, asking questions. Can I ask a question then? That's why I didn't take his question because I knew it would be a stupid question. Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? It has to be a serious question. It is a serious question. You know how you have, um, how you have a problem with somebody being transgender and using them they them pronouns. So what? Because uh, I'm assuming you're a man. I'm I'm sorry if you're not a man. But I'm assuming. <laughs> assuming. Can I speak? Assuming. Can I speak? You're Do you see how confused young people are today? I'm assuming that you are a man. No, I am a man. I look like a man. I behave like a man. So, um, if you're not going to respect a person that was born female and wants to turn to a man and use human pronouns for them, should I uh, use she her pronouns for you then? What the fuck is going on? No. You see, you need to understand, okay? If somebody is a man, a male, they have the XY chromosome, everything about them is male. If in their life they decide that they want to. Uh, they want to. They want to. They see themselves as a woman. They want to live as a woman. They want to dress as a woman. You need to understand that that is self-delusion, okay? And the rest of society are not to go along with that person's delusion. Now, referring to that male as a female is not helpful for them. It's best for them to get to the point in life where they actually realize who they truly are. And for them to realize who they truly are, they need people who will refer to them by their actual biological sex. Can I speak to the magazine? I've got more to say. I've got more to say. Why, why does it bother you? Why does it bother so you, you so much? Because it bothers God. Because God did not make any mistakes in his creation. And God's creation is to glorify him understand and god only made two sexes he made male and female do you understand and the bible says if a woman wears men's clothes and a, and a, and a man wears woman clothes it is an abomination to god it is an abomination to god so, you know how some people are born, like, uh, Labour C, for example, she was born with a male and female genitalia. And, um, What's going on, fam? And, like, and you, 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 like, what do you describe to someone that's born with both male and female genitalia? Now, what the fuck is going on? Right. So, so this lady is now asking the question about somebody who is intersex, okay? Now this is an abnormality, this is an abnormality, this is a genetic disorder, okay? Intersex does not make up a third sex, come on, there's only two sexes, male and female, yeah? A man cannot transition into a woman, a woman cannot transition into a man. It is an absolute impossibility. You've got just as you've got just as much as a chance of transitioning into a banana as that you have for a man to transition into a woman. You've got just as much as a chance for a man to transition into a banana than for a woman to transition into a man. No, 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 go away. No. 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 Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? You don't have to be a doctor. This is just basic biology. You should have learned in basic biology. You should have learned in basic biology that that if you are born a male, you die a male. If you are born a female, you die a female. You can't transition from one to the other. Now, just because, just because a man will take hormones and have surgery and put on a dress, call himself Sue, that does not make him a female. Just because a woman takes hormones, has surgery, has her breast removed, wears men's clothes, does not make her a male. 
to understand. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. What's your name? Izzy. Men and women of Derby, Izzy is going to ask a question. Now let's listen to what Izzy has to say. <laughs> Can you follow intellectuals? Bell God Park? loves you all. <laughs> Can you please follow intellectuals Belper? Sorry, what was that? Can you follow intellectuals Belper on Instagram? I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Listen. I've got a question. I've been studying it for like 10 minutes, right? I'll take your question a second, okay? Okay, why do you think I'm delusional? You can be identified as a guy. It's okay to have daddy issues. Because you're not a guy. Yes, I am. I am a guy. You can't be a guy. You can't be a guy. You never. No. How would you know? Mate, it's fucking Listen. Alex! You have a second Listen. question. Second no, I'll answer your first question. Okay. The reason I'm saying that you're delusional is because you are a female. No, he is not! Your DNA will show that you have the XX chromosome. How do you know I don't have a dick? Your skeleton is a female skeleton, a female brain, female DNA. Okay? You have all. Everything about you is Where female. Is the proof of God? Right? I'm a guy. Where is You're not a guy. Yes, You're I a am. female. I'm a fucking guy. That's your delusion. Where is your proof of God? She's confused about their gender or their sexuality at school. And then, and then. How do you know? How do you know these facts? Well, there was obviously some, but not as many as it is today. Now we have what's called um, gender ideology. You know, it's been pushed in the schools. They're trying to push it on people. And, I preach in all the different cities of this nation. I have young, young women sit there in front of me and say I'm a dude. I have, you know, obviously attractive young ladies say I'm a boy. I had a woman stand there say that she wasn't a woman. Come on. Come on. Why on earth would you deny? Denying biological facts. Don't deny what you are. Don't deny what you are. If you're born a woman, you're a woman. If you're born a man, you're a man. Don't be self-deluded. Why is that a problem? Why do you have a problem with us trying to express ourselves and live our best life? Because just because we want to live our best life, does it mean that you can't as well? If you really, if you really, like, there was a guy down there, there was a guy down there that was, that was uh, preaching as well. But he wasn't, but he wasn't angry that uh, people are gay or So what's your problem? The thing is, if you look today, right, as I'm preaching, there's a big crowd here today. Because my preaching today is culturally um, relevant, you know. I'm touching on subjects that are culturally relevant. These are things that you're thinking about on a daily basis. Are you offended that I don't play along with your self-delusion? Your friends might refer to you as a boy and refer to you by your chosen pronoun, but I'm not. Because I judge things by what I see. When I look at you... I see a woman, okay? I see a girl. Do you know what? Do you know what the issue is? You're traumatized. You're traumatized. The things that you've experienced in life. You're traumatized. And this is a way for you to cope. By calling yourself a boy, this is a way for you to cope with how you feel. Are you stupid? I've got two things. Are you stupid? Hey, I can't read it that I've got a question. Why can't we be who we want to be? Can I actually ask you like a genuine question? No, I've took your question. So men and women of Derby. The Lord Jesus Christ. He give his life upon the cross. Jesus Christ. He laid his life down upon the cross. <laughs> he suffered, he bled, he died in order that 
sinners can be forgiven. In order that sinners can be saved. In order that sinners can be brought into a right relationship and a right standing with God. You cannot be saved through paganism. You cannot be saved through Judaism. You cannot be saved uh, by your own good deeds. There's only one way that you can be saved and it's in and through the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. Him and Him alone. Amen. You're going to turn around and tell me that I can't support my religion? They're actually here to watch all yous, not me. That's they the issue. Me. Well, well, first of all, I'm neither, I'm neither homophobic or transphobic. Right? Let me define what. Listen, homophobia is a fear of and a dislike of gay people. Transphobia, transphobia. Let me finish, then you can come back. Let me finish. Can you, can you hold this while I just sort that sign up? Transphobia. Yeah. Just, just keep an eye on, on the There you go, you got it. A fear of, Thank you. A fear of, or a dislike of, um, people who identify themselves as trans. Okay? So, I neither, I neither feel them nor hear them. I'm simply here to tell you what the Bible says. Why do you follow the Old Testament if you should have shown it for that way? I read. I read the whole Bible. But you shouldn't read the Old Testament. Why do you think it's okay to record mine? Listen, well, if, if we're in public, okay, if we're in public, okay, in public, we can all video everything that's in front of us. Okay? And we video for our own safety. We lock things out. Who wants to see one, you know? We're the best friends. Can we be best friends? Are we best friends? Do you want me to be a liar or do you want me to I'm not against you. <laughs> Can we be friends be though? Crazy. I hope you get crazy. Forget them guys. Will you be friends with I don't think that's going to happen. But I'm Why? Oh, so I'm for you. I'm for you. I don't You reckon this God bloke's real, yeah? Don't tell me. Public. Why? Because my 10 year old stepdaughter died of cancer. Oh, you can't tell me. You cannot tell me that she sinned. She was 10. Listen, the same reason why my child at full term in the womb died. It's because when Adam and Eve sinned, right? Death entered into the world. My daughter turned, don't you fucking tell me that she was a fucking sinner! I didn't say she was a sinner. I didn't say she was a sinner. You fucking do, my dad. I didn't say that. You're getting, on, you're getting angry. I didn't say Piss that. Piss off, you fucking. All these people are laughing at you. You fucking dickhead. It's all right, man. So what, should we take to cancer then? I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying the, reason, the reason that there is death in the world, the reason why there is disease in the world, is because Adam and Eve rebelled against God in the Garden of Eden. No, my dad died because of Adam and Eve, Dad. We all die because Adam and Eve sinned. And all, and you sound like a fucking dad. One day you're going to die. Like one day you're going to die. Lord, you talked to you in that bed. The question is, where have you ever, I said, listen to me now, has anybody ever come back to you and said, there's a fucking God, there's a heaven, there's a fucking hell? Have you ever been proven it to? No, because it can't be proven, can it? How can you prove it? Jesus rose from the dead. You talk out your fucking arse. You talk out your arse because the, the thing is, right, and I'll tell you the truth, that my sister-in-law is a Christian. She fucking loves you, mate. She fucking loves you. I was told once by some dickhead like you that my the, the cancer is man-made. How the fuck is it man-made? Can, can How the fuck is it man-made? Man -made. Man -made. Man -made. Man -made. The reason there is disease. The reason there is disease. 
in, in phys moral and physical depravity is because Adam and Eve sinned. We're living in a fallen world. How can you prove it? How can you prove it to the people here? No, listen. You can not fucking die and there's no top there. Do you think you're our fault? Yeah, listen. No, don't listen, mate. Creation shows you there's a creator. You talk about your balance, but you cannot prove it. Open your eyes. You can't well, stand Open your eyes. fucking eyes. You're laughing at you. Yeah. How on earth? Yeah. How on earth could man, it be a creation without a creator? Yeah. Yeah. It's been proven that. Well, right, you telling me that the Adam and Eve bollocks, right? When you, when, and then there's. Yeah. It's been proved where we come from. It's been proven. You cannot fucking prove anything. You don't take me either, you knobhead. The only, the only person that was there you, you, the of you, was you, you do know what you're about. People, well, when people ask you a question like, we just asked you. You're not you blame me to the hotel. Listen, you look at this building. You look at this building. Yeah. You know there was a building. Yeah. Look at creation. Look at life. Yeah. It comes from the creator, and you know it. Are you a flat earther? No, it's already been proven. Has it fooled you twice? Or see, like you, what am I looking at you? If it was proven, where did life come from? What do you mean, where did life come from? You telling me that somebody was made of dust? Where did life come from? If you know. You know what? Where did life come from? I've literally got a distinction in basic biology. It's physically impossible. You, you tell, you telling people. Right, you telling people there's uh, like, if you like that, you're burning in the fire of fucking whatever. I don't know. Yeah. And you know, scientists have proved it. Yeah. God has spoken yeah. 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 and spoke to mankind ever since the beginning. But how do you know? So God has revealed. How do you know? Yeah. It's, 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 help! My, my, my kids have got books to read them. You know, it doesn't mean to say the truth. It's just in your face. What do you do with the video? Creation. Creation. No, that's for that, that's for my protection. Why do you think this? Why do you think this? Why do you think this? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it's not you. You've you, you, you not got the right to take people. Yeah, 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 can I just say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you going to say that heaven is all the way up there when science is all the way up there? Then there's no jump. It's like space. Heaven, hell, you know what I mean? hell. How do you know it's heaven and hell? You because God. You can't argue with heaven and hell. You don't believe in God, so what? Wait, wait, do you believe in this channel? You can choose not to believe in God if you want to, but that doesn't mean that heaven doesn't exist. No, no, no. You can't answer. Basic question, what my wife asked you, why did my daughter suffer? Why did she suffer? If, if she was eight, find out she got cancer, she died at 10. That's not right? fair. And she, she did that, she died. But if you're telling me there's a Jesus and a God that helps, why didn't he take her at eight instead of letting her suffer and slowly fucking suffer all the time until she passed away? She went away to nothing. You ask him back questions when you get there. You ask him back questions when you get there. Nah, fuck off. This world, you can ask a question. It's not right. This world is full of suffering. Listen, hang on, hang on. You tell me that if anybody has ever come back and said to you, there's a heaven, there's a hell, and then, then I talk to you, and then you, you, it can be proven. It can't be proven, can it? It's, 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 same, it's, it's same as anything else. It cannot be sir, can't proven. Sir, look, I can, I can tell, and in, in, in rightly so, to be greatly hurt by what you're experiencing. But I can tell you, God is a God who cares for you, who wants to heal you, and wants to reveal it all to you that you understand. Have you ever been jumped? No. Have you ever been to a fucking house? We want to one oh, question. Right? Sir, <laughs> so, one question. Can you give me a guarantee that you're gonna be alive tomorrow? Huh? You'll be alive tomorrow. What? Can't you have your life? No, because nobody can, can they? Exactly. You don't. We don't know when we're gonna die. No. But yeah, I'm but how is that? How is that proven by God then? Like I've, I'm, I'm, oh. I'm explaining to you why people suffer. Oh, nobody knows if you can die. Because God, because God, He created mankind. God created. God created mankind with free will, the ability to choose. And when Adam and Eve, being tempted by the devil, when they chose to sin. That's 
that's when evil entered into the world. That's when death entered into the world. That's where suffering entered into the world. We've got the ability to not believe. Why do you try preaching to people? Why do you need to say to these people, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do? Because faith hearing, hearing by the word of God. You've got no right to know. If atheist, if he stood there preaching about uh, the devil and all this lot, you'd say, no, you're wrong. You'd tell him, no, you are wrong. Wouldn't you? Because you believe in something that he doesn't, and vice versa. It's all right saying, oh, yeah, when you get to heaven, you don't know you're going to get there. Read the Bible It's about the Bible. Can I ask you a question? What's your opinion? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Do you think it's not actually on the moon? Yes. 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 I'm a court artist. My view is. Get out of the way then. Enough now. My view is up here is that um, the process of which they make these vaccines are unethical. The process in which they make these um, vaccines is unethical because they use a boy, they use uh, cells which trace back to uh, a body of oh, wow. fetus. Right? And, how they, and I don't want to benefit from the aborted fetus. I don't want to benefit from the aborted fetus. life, yes. So wait, so you're saying you need to have a baby now? This vaccine, this vaccine, all right, it's... I don't it's understand. So they say that the babies in the world long term. No, no, don't please. At least every side of it. So, have some have some respect for these guys. Okay? People asking questions. Yeah. yeah. If we're talking about yeah, respect, respect, why don't you, you just be it? mature and ask questions? I would take that. Wait, can I? So you're saying they use what babies in the vaccine? They use reported fetuses in the vaccine. Well, they use essentially babies. Could be, yeah, could be, yeah. They use they use cells. So are you? You're not a fucking scientist. So you don't know. If they put babies in the vaccine. He's asking a question. Asking a question about aborted babies. So are you pro-life? Pro-choice? Pro-life? 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 Pro-